again when you are doing a class 4 what is this you will do a small class 4 okay again what you will do you will have to preserve the adjacent tooth most of you are not using the support finger see this this finger will do this support finger is what is important understood then i can control how did he teach take the, uh, this one and build up again how did he teach uh, take the contact and build up again how did he teach yes almost here Everybody can see boys. Huh? Anything to cut is easy. To remove it is difficult. Sorry, to rebuild it is difficult. Cutting it is easy. It is usually very sensitive. The anterior tooth are more, the anterior tooth are more very sensitive than the posterior usually, and the lower anteriors are more sensitive than the upper. So we have to do it as an intermittent cutting. Always use intermittent. That means I cut. I don't continuously cut, and I don't know where I am cutting. I just have to touch it a little bit and see where it is cutting. So I touch. I cut for two seconds, take it out, and then cut. Okay, that is. Then you will know what 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 is being done. It's almost done. Yeah. Is it right we uh, start with this one? Yeah. What is it? See, usually. Uh, we use if the if it is caries, if it is caries, we use a spoon excavator to excavate it. Okay, soft caries we excavate it with the spoon excavator slowly, and then we can usually caries. If it is if it is caries, then it will be in the in, inside the inside the tooth in the in the sense it will be inside the cavity. Okay, so we will. Come out. Come out. No, no, no. This bar is big. Okay, this bar is big. Okay. Okay, almost. Yes. Okay. Now oh, the cavity is done. Take it out. No, no, ما دخل 
Okay, we have to preserve, preserve the adjacent tooth. As far as much as possible, use the spoon excavator or the other instruments to clear the space between the adjacent tooth. Class 2 or class 4. So we don't want to cut the adjacent tooth. Okay, so this caries is there in the adjacent tooth, we cannot do anything. But if it is intact and if it is very good, don't uh, touch the adjacent tooth. Okay, usually when you prepare crown, when you are preparing crown for the fixer, they cut the tooth, whole tooth, correct? Okay. When they cut the adjacent, uh, the, when they go, go for the proximal side, they touch the adjacent tooth. So you prepare the crown and the patient will come after one month or two months or after one year, carries class 2 in the adjacent tooth. So we have to preserve the adjacent tooth. So uh, this is, uh, yes, this is almost done. Okay. Let's see if did I touch the adjacent tooth or not. Okay, no problem. They didn't touch. No, no, it's not. See, who? Somebody broke the. Who, who did it? I bossed the video. <laughs> no problem. No problem. It's good. Okay. No. Yeah. No beveling. Okay. According to the lecture, it is one mm, correct? Yes. Yes. And you know the purpose of beveling. Half degree. Forty-five degree. Okay. So this is this is 90 degree? No. If I cut it like this, it is 90 degree. In in relation to the cavity. So if I cut it like this, then it is 45. Yes, Understood? And bevel is only needed for the buccal surface. Yes. Understood? Yeah. Because it has various purposes. First is it will first it will when you uh, when you uh, restore the cavity, okay. Usually when there will be cavity there will be tooth structure and there will be uh, uh, the material, the uh, composite. Okay. okay. But after you finish, then you will, the patient uh, or the doctor will be able to see the clear difference between tooth and the restoration. It will, it will be a line. So that should not be there. So your voice, listen here, what you are talking there. Okay. Now, when you put a bevel like this, this is the cavity and it's a bevel. Now you merge the cavity, uh, tooth surface with the restoration. So it merges. But again, if it that will work out very good if your beveling is good and your set selection is good. You understood what I'm saying? Yes. If your beveling is good and your set selection is not good, it is of a different shade, you have done the wrong shade selection. There is no use. And if you are done uh, the opposite, then also no use. You have done the uh, shade selection good and the you didn't do the beveling, no use. Okay. So, but we have limited composite. We don't have uh, uh, the shade, much shades here. So, we will do it. Okay. Now, we just have to create a bevel for 1 mm, not much. Okay, and the bevel should be in the enamel, not in the dentine. Okay, so let's see how the bevel is being done. And the bevel should start from the whole area. Okay. Able to see the bevel? Doctor, beveling only only from the outside the surface. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only in the uh, the cavo 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 surface. Yes, cavo surface only. I mean, uh, only on the uh, buccal side. Yeah, yeah. No need for. No need no, for. No, 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 need, no, need, no need. Usually, it is more for aesthetic reason, but it has its advantages also. So it's when you give the bevel, yeah, when you give the bevel, you are going to etch more surface. Okay. And you are going to use the, the first thing is beveling is for aesthetics, but it has its advantages also. Okay, the beveling is yeah done almost so 45 degree and a little bit of incisal. Here also, yeah. Okay, done. Show, show. You will be able to see when it is it, it clearly when see. So the cavity margin was like this. Okay. 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 Okay.
Can you see the bevel? Can you see the bevel? Yes. Hmm? Yes. Everybody is extended here and approximate. Doctor. Yeah. Here also. Here. Yeah, see here. It's not that Stop. much, doctor. No, it's not. Why do you want to cut more tooth? But you said that we need more bevel. Bevel in the buccal surface only, mm -hmm. and just just one milli from the edge of the cavity. Not much. All side, doctor. No, the the conservative cavity is the more aesthetic it will be, and the more less work for you. Yes or no? Understood? If you put the bevel, see if the cavity is small. Okay, the edge of the cavity, whatever the cavity, after you finish the cavity, after you finish the preparation, from the edge of the cavity, you give a bevel, which the bevel width should be only one milli, not more than that. Understood? Why to take more? No need. If you take more, then you have to add more. Yes or no? Yes. If you add more, then you need more material. Yes or no? Yes. Then you need more time. Then more finishing, more polishing, everything is more. But the mark will be less. Yes, understood? So conserve it as much as possible. Where, where not needed, don't cut it. Yeah, but doctor, we care about the job. That was in class four. Class four, you remove the caries or you remove the cavity. That's yeah, sorry, you remove, uh, do a cavity. Finish, finish the cavity. Whatever. Yeah. Your cavity is different and your beveling is different. Understood? We we give the bevel after you finish the tooth preparation. Yes. Whatever tooth preparation is from the edge of the tooth preparation, cavo surface margin, give a one milli bevel. And just look after that, this we start the with the restoration. Yeah, hello. Why do you want to make it more... Uh, this is the mylar? Part. This is the mylar strip. Okay. What is the purpose of this mylar strip? Support. Okay. Yes. Uh, I think, sir, uh, uh, how much extent in the uh, approximate? See here. Why is it there? Anybody has a wedge? Can can somebody take a wedge and give me? No, no. Yeah, small one. Yeah, small. Check. Check. Not bothered about color now. Check. 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 Where is the shoot? Where is the... Uh, I can't see it. I'm <laughs> 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 and the wedge should go. Do we need a bigger one? No, no, halas, this is enough. No, this is not correct. Put it this way. Check this one. Okay. Okay. This is good. Okay. Now, the next step, yeah. The next step is what did the, what was the next step? Cavity is done and the beveling is done. Yeah, boys, listen. 
cavity is done uh, your beveling is done what is the next step uh, before restoration did he teach you something remember from the okay that's okay anything before that i think you are forgetting one more step for protection uh, yes calcium hydroxide yes Okay. You can you can you can you can is it obligatory to apply the matrix of course how will you see here huh? i'll tell you see here ideally we should apply your yeah, voice ideally we should apply vaseline here vaseline vaseline apply it here and put it inside put the wedge okay so that the composite will not stick otherwise usually composite will stick okay so when you put the vaseline it will not stick okay so this is we are we are done the cavity in one one okay apply the composite okay i hold it like this and apply the composite let me finish okay one minute okay i apply like this and apply composite okay then i hold it like this and cure cure above the mylar strip Mm. What's the point, Doctor? What's the point? Because then only you will get the anatomy. Yes. <laughs> Understood. Yes. Okay. See, tooth. Then apply the, the the the. That is why we need the we need the mylar strip. Okay. Yeah. There we need. There we have what we don't have the mylar strip in the, in the, in in the amalgam. Okay. The light will pass through this plastic. The curing light it will cure. One. Second, then it will adapt mold it to your. Uh, tooth surface okay see here For the matrix strip. Go, go. Okay. What did I see? Anybody can say what did I see? No. Mister, something I was seeing. Do you want me to help this out? No, let's just, just adapt it nicely. Try this, doctor. It's getting loose. Nice. Yes. Bigger one. A bigger one, yeah, but maybe that will not go. Let's see. It's too big now because there is a... The patient, you will have a... Upper dam, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay, this is okay. This is okay. Okay. Stable. It's right from the relative, that's all. Okay, halas. Okay. Oh. Calcium hydroxide. Calcium hydroxide. Where is calcium hydroxide? Where is calcium hydroxide? Where is calcium 
Vaseline. Vaseline. Not here. Okay. 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 Ah, oh, I really can't. I think this one. This one. Only a few of them are having it. The small one. Small one. Yes, yes, I have. This one. Yes. Not everybody's having this. Yes. 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 Ma. Okay, see this. Ma. This is. This is self curing radio opaque calcium hydroxide. This is pulp. This is pulp, pulp protection. My lecture is coming on dental cements. In your. Uh, what is that? Uh, block? Two and four. Two and four, yes. Yeah. Next month, inshallah. It will be very elaborate how to. What are the. Cements, uh, various cements used for various purposes. Lot of cements, okay. And one of the cement is calcium hydroxide. And one of the best cement is also calcium hydroxide. Okay. Now it will protect the pulp. Yeah, boys, listen. Okay. Listen. The, uh, uh, yeah. This one too. Yeah. The one is the base. One is the catalyst. To mix it up, it will set. How? See here. There is base and catalyst. Okay. It is like this. We have to mix it up. And it will set. Okay. Some other uh, other type of calcium hydroxide is it will have. Uh, uh, you can you just powder will be there. You can put a few drops of water and mix up. You mix it here. Yeah, we can make it here. Here, there is there is a specific uh, uh, pad to mix. Okay. We'll keep it. Let's see whether he has given any instructions for mixing up. Maybe nothing. No instructions. Okay. Okay. We don't need much, so we don't have to waste much. Okay. This is the best or the catalyst. This is the catalyst. Okay. This is even used for, even for amalgam with the deep cavity, the, the caries is deep. I mean, the cavity is deep and it is very close to the pulp. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Small. Okay. Okay. Yes. But the problem with the mixing is, the problem with the mixing is, it will set very, very, very fast. By 5 seconds or 10 seconds, it is set. So it's set now? I didn't mix it. When you mix it, it will set very fast. So what you should do in the patient? Mix everything. Keep ready. Step by step. Like step by step. Keep everything ready. All the instruments, whichever you need, see it is there. Tell the patient not to close the mouth, because if the, of course, in the patient you will be having the rubber dam. Yes. Take everything, all the precaution ready, and see where the next instruments. What you need? Now ready to mix. Mix. Within five seconds, ten seconds, it will become stone hard. Understood? Yes. So let's see. And we just need. So I have the instrument. I'm going to mix it with this. What is this? You can mix it with this. Huh? What is this? Mixing. Uh, what is this? Uh, spatula. Cement spatula, not composite spatula. What? Cement spatula. Plastic instrument, actually, not cement spatula. This is uh, plastic instrument. Why it is plastic instrument? Because when you mix it, it will become black. Let's see. The first cement you are seeing now? Inshallah, this way, this side or that side. So everything is ready, guys? Mix it up nicely so that all the 
thing is mixed but we are not going to use the whole thing we are just going to take a little bit and apply it okay see how it is see the string can you see the string yes okay. and apply it this if it is only this pulp protection you will you will know when when you need a pulp protection understood yes. it's not for all cases only if it is there is a criteria when to use pulp protection okay because we are going to use a composite you only if it is see, okay see it is it is going to set now all around it or not all around see see the picture see how is when we when we see there are two ways to apply it apply it very small and leave it enough okay. which is very difficult because the material is sticky okay or else apply more and take the rest out when it sets take the rest out mm -hmm. yes that looks little easier understood what i'm saying okay just a little bit right let little bit where the pulp is if you see the picture you will know just uh, forward the picture slide then uh, doctor we wait or yeah i see the see the see the see there yeah yeah yes yes see there can you see just he has applied it there okay uh, i'm sorry no second one and check and check depending upon how much Yeah, not this one. Very good. This one. And depending upon how much uh, base and catalyst you added, either it will set fast or it will set it will slow. Because the more you add, the more it, it, it will take time to set. So now let's see whether that is set here or not. See, now it is almost. It was very thick. Now it is almost set. It is setting fast. So we check it outside. Yes, check this one. Extra is there. Don't check it there. Okay. Otherwise, we'll take some out, something out. Check it. A little excess will be there. Check it here. Whether this is set, then that will be set. Okay. 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 It should set ideally. It should be. It should be fast, not good. Very fast. It should be. And this is the ideal instrument for that. Just take a little bit and apply. and wait till it sets it will take some time what we can do after the rest sleep sleep <laughs> doctor see then when it is set either apply completely and then when it is set use a spoon excavator to excavate it the extra and it will be there in the pulp okay or else we can just apply it in the pulp and which is difficult because the concentration see this is how it will come and it is it is going to apply and it is going to string out when you when you see it is almost set. can you see guys can you see guys yeah set mm. okay doctor how you know it set thing here it is man see chubli bar ah extra don't there not there okay so so Now can you etch the calcium hydroxide? Oh good. Hmm? Good. Huh? Can you etch the calcium hydroxide voice? No, I can't see it. It's like the cut off the teeth. So what if the touch a normal to No problem, no problem. No problem. It's good material. But no need if it is nothing will happen if you put extra little Okay? Okay. Now. Etching I need spoon excavator boys. Spoon excavator. Because I need to remove this. Where are you going? To the toilet. <laughs> Can I can I 
Yeah, boys, see here. This is how I do now. This finger I hold. Okay. It is. It is. I hold it because I want to see the. Uh, hold it so that. Yeah. Should I hold it or won't be the rubber dam? Rubber dam will be there, but it will not hold it like this. It will be covering the till the gingiva, yeah. not the inside cell. Okay, and I take the extra out. Why I hold it? If only if I hold it with this finger, then I will not be applying extra material there in the palatal. Otherwise, you will apply extra material there, and you will you will take a lot of time to finish polish. Understood? Hold it like this. Now let's etch. Etching. Okay. Now etching. How much time? Fifteen seconds. Fifteen to twenty. Okay. And it, should I etch the the bevel also? Yes. We have to etch the bevel also. So always apply. It is only the enamel, so the yeah, bevel. Just a little bit. Yes. Don't waste material. Just apply little bit, but generously. Don't be, don't be. What is this? Uh, like a miskin, eh? Apply little more. Okay. Yeah. Five seconds. Okay. Okay. I always use this finger to hold it so that you know. Here it is. Uh, okay. Composite is there. Yes. Composite material is here. See, this is almost set now. Okay. Twenty seconds buffer, boys. Yes, yes, yes. You yes. Now rinse. Rinse. Dry it nicely. Doctor, how is this will go inside the patient's mouth? Which one? You will be having rubber dam, man. Rubber dam, yes, the suction is there. Hold it like this, your assistant will be holding it like this and you put water it will suck up. There is no... <laughs> Allah, trouble. Where is it? Who said that? <laughs> In your clinic, man, not here. Yeah, yes, yes, you are correct. You become smart now. Okay, let's see. Okay. In in this is boys, this is plastic. Understood? So you will not be able to see the the how powerful the agent is. Okay. In the patient, in the enamel, when you finish etching and dry it, okay? Switch off the light and you will see the you will see the but not here, it will not not very clear here. And you will see it is rough if you if you move the probe. This will be the normal tooth will be smooth and there it will be rough. Okay. No. It will be it will be like a chalk more more white. So because we have uh, we have removed the minerals a little bit out, and this is what is going to happen in caries. In normal caries, this will happen. So what is the color of caries? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> Say black. Caries is not black. But uh, in reality, it's black. Reality is not All the black are caries? <laughs> the caries is white. I will tell you why. Because the minerals come out of the tooth and the, the, the area has become rough and tooth is white. The caries, the initial stage is little more rougher. So it is white. Why it becomes black? You eat and drink and the chew and this and that and everything. Then it becomes black. Because something if which is rough, it will attract easily the other agents. Doctor, what's the next step? Next step is bonding, halas. 
He's still in finish first. <laughs> okay. Bend it nicely. Okay, like this. Where is the light cure? Okay. Apply it, boys, nicely. See, still I'm holding the finger. Yes. Feel in the outline. Fully apply it. No, fully, no, yeah. fully, including the bevel. Understood? Yes. Now when I, I have applied bonding agent in the tooth, in the bevel, and some bonding agent is there in the... Correct? Mm -hmm. Now if I cure, in the bonding agent in this also cure? Yes. So it will stick. Understood why I am saying? Yes. That is why I told Vaseline. Understood what I am saying? Yes, yes. So it will be it will be easier for you to separate. Okay. Now cure nicely. It is on. How many? Switch on, guys. I can't. I am holding it. Switch it on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is new machine? Machine machine is Jadid? New machine or old machine? This is uh, Finished uh, new it. machine. So it will it will cure fast. The old, more old, the more time it will take. Just like our Not so much man. Halas, just yeah. look somewhere, halas, that's it. Why did uh, why do uh, Again, this time, that's what happened. Why light cure again? <laughs> yeah. And always check. <laughs> check whether the bonding is uh, good or not. Yes. How you check? Like, what? like mirror. Yes. Same like this. It should be like mirror. Okay. Not rough. Yes, rough is the tooth. Rough is caries. When you put etching, it has become rough. Now you fill it with bonding agent. Well, the bonding agent is liquid. And it has gone into the area where it is etched. But when you cure it, the bonding agent from the liquid state becomes like a, like a, like a glass. Okay? Check it always. If the bonding is not correct, redo the etching again and bond. Understood what I'm saying? Clear up, do it again. You touch this with the here, here, and do scratch here, and the patient touch in the saliva, <laughs> everything. Patient will come in the second day, restoration gone. Understood what I'm saying? Yes, yes. Okay, he will come back. The bonding is bad, nothing will work out. He will come the second day, and it is so embarrassing. The patient comes back to the clinic, doctor gone. When you do with uh, bonding? See, check here. Always check. See, just check what the see, here, oh, see, here. Is see here. See here, I'm smooth checking. Smooth. I'll tell you smooth. here. Smooth. Alas, with this instrument, yeah, yeah. check. Just don't give pressure. Just see how smooth it is. Can you see? Yes. It should be. It should be rough because we cut, but it is not rough because we put the bonding agent there and cured mm -hmm. it. Yep. Understood? Now it is. Can I see the yes, yes. Yeah, see, see, see. Alas, I have to hold it. I cannot get up. Yeah. Smooth, correct? Yes. This here, the, the, just the bevel seat. Don't pressure, just just give the... See? Rough, still tough there? No, here it is okay. It's okay, this is, you see this? See the uh, see the label. The bevel, bevel. See the bevel, you see it's more rough. See? This is good, okay? Still, I am holding it. Okay, halas. Now we will add the composite. And composite add slow by slow. Halas, take some more time. I am holding it. Again, this instrument will stick to the. Uh, the clinic you will get separate set of instruments for composite. This again will stick to the instrument. Yeah, okay, but it's too much. Too much, but no problem. We'll take it here extra.
Okay guys, now the fun will start in the snow. Okay, this is mixed with Okay, hello. I apply it. <coughs> yeah, boys, see it. Then you will, if you are playing around, and then you will not see anything. See, if you are playing around, then you will not be see, will t see anything and you will have difficulty doing the light, just to change the light, okay? Okay, so add and cure, add and cure, not in one bulk, okay? And usually cure it in the opposite side, I will tell you why, okay? Like I am holding it, I cannot, then close it, then cure. Then cure. Switch on. How many seconds? Curing, if it is more, no problem. Of course, then five, every five seconds it will beep. Okay. 10 15 seconds is enough. 15 20 seconds is enough. But this bulb, every time you use it, is less powerful. Okay, so the older the bulb is, the more time you need curing. Mm -hmm. And take it very close to the restoration and cure, but it should not touch. Okay. Understood? Then it will become contaminated. And, okay, let's take it. Okay. Add some more. Put some more composite. Hmm? Put some more composite there. Yeah, boys, you are playing around, huh? and I am doing it for you. How will I get the interest? Tell me, boys. Just like kids, you are playing around. And while you are doing, you will ask hundred doubts. Not now. If you are playing around, you will not see anything. So what happens if I add it one, one more, uh, one, uh, one time and uh, try to shape it? Okay, I'll tell you why. Why you should not add one time? What? He's asking why we should not add, one add it one big bulk and cure it. Does it if it will become bigger, it will not be all exposed to the light. Very bad. Very yes. Good. No, because if you, if you, you know, this light, this light, where is the light? Light, that light, it will cure whichever is nearest one or two milli max. Yeah. Yeah. So Understood what I'm saying? Step by step, inside and outside. Yeah. Max. Oh. So if you put it in bulk yeah. and cure it, the upper layer will be cured, the lower layer, the inside layer will be still soft. Understood what I'm saying? Okay, one. That is why we need to add, cure, add, cure, add, and cure. Now, the second thing is we have to cure it in different ways. I will tell you in a class one. Okay, boys, boys, listen. Listen. Uh, in class, for supposing you are doing a class one uh, composite. Okay, cure it. And wherever the, the light source is, the composite will, uh, the, it will be shrinking towards the light. Understood what I'm saying? You are able to understand what I am saying. I am holding it. I cannot show you. Otherwise, I will show you. So, this is cavity and there is light. The composite will shrink towards the light. There is shrinkage. 5% shrinkage will be there. Okay, it will pull the composite. So, first time cure it this way. Add and cure this way. So, it is shrinking towards this, this, this side. Next time, add it in the other side and cure it that way. Now, this is going to shrink that side. Understood? Mm -hmm. This side and that side equal. 
Understood? Yes. Understood? Yes. Correct? So that is incremental build up in class 1. Same it will happen but here also. But this is small cavity. We don't actually uh, need to do that. It's called as polymerization and shrinkage. And that is why we do incremental build up. And the build up in a class 1 cavity should be like this. Like that. Like this. Like that cross. Understood? Class we are not having. Yeah. We are not having uh, a voice. We are not having uh, the exact uh, uh, shade, so alas, if it is not good, not good shade, don't worry. And hold it tight and cure. Cure other side. Yeah, no need. How it will cure? I'm holding it with my finger. Yet, yeah, I just will attend my phone. Just hold it. Hold it for me. Sit down. Hold it here. Okay. No need. I'll just attend my phone and come. Cool. هو يقول قبل شوي احنا في الاستراحة دقيقة دكتور شهزاد قال عادي تعال شوف حتى قضى وقت مو بلاد مسوي اليوم اقسم بالله سمكة ما خلاص تو باقي برنشنج ومدري وش ما أزال <تصفيق> 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 شو رايك توكي؟ كيو ريفريش من عاد نحشها. ايش في القصه ذي؟ هذه. 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 So just because I was holding it with my finger, I didn't add uh, much in the palatal side. Understood? But this, this, is, this you will not, you will not find it in the books. If you see the books, this finger technique is mine. <laughs> Maybe somebody else is using, but it is because when you do it like this and add, then you tend to add more in the palatal side. When you hold it like this, then you can. You can actually, uh, I don't know, somebody else is using, but this is one, one, of my, one of my technique. Just hold it and uh, uh, do it. There okay. is another technique for the other side, Victor. You want to invent? Do something. What? No, in the thing. This technique you will not find. No, no, inside from the right, uh, palate. No, that's what. See, if you are not holding. Should I uh, hold it from the other side? If it is palatal, if it is the palatal is big, then the next technique, the, he showed the, 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 the preformed uh, this one. Understood what I'm saying? The the last uh, in, in in the slides he showed you the last the, the preform prefabricated -fabri plastic yeah, crowns celluloid celluloid crowns mm. yeah okay add it and put the celluloid crown it will go and fix up but uh, using the finger is better right easier mm. <laughs> easier for me but I don't know what is easier for you and cheaper uh, it's cheap it's cheaper mm. nothing is cheaper man you are in Saudi. <laughs> okay, alas, and let add a little more. Give me, give me, where is the uh, some more, little more? Composite, some more. Where is it? Somebody took it? Uh, boys, who took the composition? It's already big. 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 It's
استخدمه كلنا هذه هذه يا اخي حقة اسمه لا 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 خلاص <تصفيق> 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 So we didn't have uh, polish. We don't have polish, but we will try to polish with the whatever we have. How do you polish that? With uh, sandpaper? Yes, sir. No, no. There is there is special bars for polishing. Good. The first step. Oh, yeah. Not this. Very good. Oh, good. This is polishing. What? The plastic cup, like the polishing kit. No, no, not that one. لا 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 make it rough so we need the polishing bar this is not the correct bar boys okay okay and always polishing your yeah, voice listen when you are polishing polishing is not like cutting cut 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 to just okay polish suppose this is the cap, the the uh, restoration always polish one side yeah same side not like this understood the difference yeah. go this side or this side no problem this uh, from left to right or right to left no problem but left to right again left to right again not up and down up and down no, no. you polish it then you take it back it will become a rough again polish it again if you take the same side it will become rough again so see here what i am doing understood i am sorry for the yeah it's approximately this bad موسيقى <laughs> The yeah. one is different and one is up and one is down. Always check the height. That's a Polish man. If that instrument was there, I'm afraid it will cut the adjacent tooth. Then every damn thing will go over waste. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. 
and usually the incisal edge this mesial of this and mesial of that now this will become this is rough it's not it's not very smooth this is because this is rough but you see here yeah boys the incisal edge the mesial mesial and mesial mesial of 2 1 and mesial of 2 uh, mesial of 1 2 oh, sorry 1 1 and 2 1 it will be little sharp this edge will be sharp but this edge will be rounded you will understand for the males I saw it Alas, you go. You can continue. I will. I will show you. Uh, I'll finish it and show you. It's rough. It's rough because we don't have the. Alas, you can continue.